what is going on everybody and welcome back to our bears franchise week one is in the books and it was a doozy we lost 40 to 10 to the san francisco 49ers trey lance just read optioned us to get to death over and over and over again kareem hunt who got traded to the 49ers ran it down our throats over and over and over again we could not stop them on the ground defense though wasn't all bad our defense looked okay we forced three fumbles one of them by our free agent acquisition linville joseph but on offense it was it was pretty bad uh justin fields did not throw one two not even four not even five he threw six interceptions and not only did he throw six interceptions he also fumbled the ball once david montgomery fumbled the ball once david montgomery looked good at times he was a leading receiver out of the backfield obviously leading rusher he did have a costly fumble that i think could have potentially turned the tide of the game that's in the past we're looking now to week two we have the green bay packers we're actually going to lambeau field two historic franchises chicago bears green bay packers it's going to be a tough one aaron Rodgers, superstar x factor last week he only threw 146 yards in the air for one touchdown one interception is pretty low for him i must say and they lost so they're 0-1. They're looking to try to get their first win of the season. Remember, you go down 0-2 in the NFL, and things are not in your favor as far as making the playoffs. Very rarely, if you go 0-2, do you make the playoffs. So very big game here. Week 2 already in the NFL, an interconference or interdivisional game at that. Going into Lambeau Field is going to be tough. It's an 8.20 p.m. game, so it's a primetime game as well. So we've got the game plan, an elite quarterback. So let's talk about that. Facing a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers always presents an immense challenge for any defense looking to stop him. What style of play will give you the most trouble? His unrelenting pressure or give him or blanket coverage. Now, our coverage, I think, is probably the best suit. If we look at our defense, our secondary is better than our front seven. So that's what we're going to go with, which will mean our goal is going to be at least to get an interception. So he's good at identifying pressure before the snap. That makes it tough to bring too much heat. Sometimes I think the best way to stop guys like this is just to drop everyone into coverage. So that's kind of what we're going to do. Zone coverage last week did not work too well for us. I should have stuck with some man and contain, uh, but I really was not expecting them to do so many read options. So we need to beat the Packers and have four plus pass deflections and interceptions combined. So I think that's actually pretty solid. And our entire defense will have plus three man and zone coverage for the week, which is we are going to need it. Let me tell you. Now, we do have a player ready to negotiate. We talked about this in the end of the last video, I'm pretty sure. Linville Joseph has looked good. He had two tackles for a loss. He had a forced fumble. He was able to get some pressure. I just don't know if at 33 years of age, like how much is he going to regress? Is it going to be worth signing him again for $10 million? Now, we've got a lot of cap room. We do. So I, I want to hold off because there might be somebody good in free agency. I, heard, I have heard, though, in Madden, the free agency was supposed to be better. But I've also heard that it's not been good. It's been very hit and miss. So we're, we're going to have to see. Hopefully it'll get patched way before we get to that. Uh, let's talk about our weekly strategy, I guess, against Aaron Rodgers, since we're going to focus on trying to stop the pass. I think that's kind of what we do. I think that's kind of what we do. It didn't look like Aaron Jones ran a lot last week either. He only had like 60 yards. So I really think we can key in on that. I think it's probably going to be either defend the medium or short pass. And it looks like... Short pass is the way to go. And then on defense, I think our game plan has got to be, it has to be running the ball. It's saying throw it deep. There's just no way. We don't have enough time. There's not enough time in the pocket to throw it deep. I don't know what it's talking about. Maybe throw it short. But I really think our best hope is to run it inside with David Montgomery. Maybe blitzing, but we're going to just stick with inside. We do have some upgrade points available. We don't have enough to get us that extra focus player, but I will do that probably at the end of this this video our weekly game plan goal i think we just try to get an interception maybe that's probably the most likely and that kind of already falls in suit with what our game plan is it makes the most sense so let's let's go with that let's go with training let's hope that nobody gets hurt do we make it away acl sprain okay we got a backup left guard dozier that got got hurt he'll be out probably for a week or two on defense this is where it matters the most for us we are good thank God, Eddie Jackson actually had a good game last last week. He had 11 tackles, and that's what we need out of him. We just need everyone else to step up to the plate, specifically that front seven. We are just getting destroyed, and our fullback gets an upgrade. It's just what we want. Now, Blossom game had a pretty clutch, I think, third down catch last week, a little shoestring catch that looked, looked pretty good, helped extend the drive. I don't think we really got much out of it, but 
you know, he is somebody that has the ability to catch out of the backfield at that fullback position. So we all have to keep an eye on him. Maybe he's somebody that we can utilize in the passing game. So for prospects, we are starting to get some, some things uncovered here. Not a whole lot. We are getting some guys... And the one that sticks out to me the most right now is going to be our outside linebackers here. So Carlos Cox and Danelle Blayton. Now we don't have anything on Carlos Cox yet, but Danelle Blayton has a B pursuit. So pursuit, I mean, so that's, that's pretty decent. 6'4 linebacker, 253 uh, pounds out of Washington. 21 years of age. Top fit is the uh, Cardinals, Saints, and Bills. Says he delivers bone crushing hits. A savvy defender with a uh, ball in the air, has a high motor, often looks to rip the ball from runners, so that's good. Maybe he can get some turnovers, has a swift arm over move in his arsenal, so it seems like he's he's pretty good. He's, he's fast, athletic, he can rush the passer is kind of what it sounds like. His acceleration solid to good, agility is decent to solid, change direction good, good to great. Jumping is great to elite, speed is good to great. So yeah, he's he's okay. He's not as good as I actually thought he would be. So impact blocking speed, we'll have to keep an eye on him. He's somebody to definitely watch, but athleticism I thought would be a little bit better than that. And of course, we've got edge, we've got tackle players. So I really want to get somebody, an athletic freak. We need to replace that position. It's going to be big, but without further ado, let's get this started. We've got an tough tough game 87 defense 83 overall for i'm sorry 84 overall for the green bay packers this is gonna be a tough one it's not going to be easy so let's get it underway all right here we are lambeau field sunday night football on floopy television we've got justin fields going up against aaron Rodgers and the green bay packers defense led by devondre campbell at 10 tackles yesterday or last week we see justin fields there david montgomery how can this offense be any worse we might find out bears kicking the ball first carlos or santos getting ready to kick it off winds in our face eight miles an hour kind of a little of a crosswind but not too much and kind of some a new look green bay packers offensive team here of course guy aj dillon who can just basically run over anybody. See Aaron Rodgers, 19 for 29, 146 yards through the air. One touchdown, one interception. That might be the only interception Aaron Rodgers throws all season. He throws less than five usually. So the odds are not looking good in our favor. So here we go. Aaron Rodgers in the shotgun. Jones off to his left. And that's going to be handed off to him. He's looking to run it right up the middle. A huge gap like we saw last week. We'll move Eddie Jackson over here in the middle. See if they're going to run it. No, they're not. A little screen action. That's thrown. Oh, my God. Aaron Jones wide open. We blitzed and they made us pay for it. 27 yards to the outside. Brisker with the tackle. Play action here. Where is he throwing it? <laughs> oh, my God. How can we not get to that? It's a good little live pass by Aaron Rodgers, though, to Randall Cobb for a gain of 21. So two passes, both over 20 yards there for Rand oh. Jesus Christ. Now, that's a typical Aaron Rodgers pass, though. But I mean, how did nobody get a hand on that? I will take field goals all day long. I don't care how long the drives last. I don't care how they get down here. They take it all to the one. If they kick a field goal, I do not care. We're going to run it. Let's see what he, oh my, A.J. Dillon. All right, so here's Justin Fields out there, a seven play, 75 yard touchdown. A.J. Dillon there in the Green Bay Packers offense. Justin Fields threw six interceptions last week. That's probably more than Aaron Rodgers will throw all season. Justin Fields, I think we're gonna have to rely on him having 200 yards passing. Where's our blocks going? Montgomery picks up three, third and five. But yeah, I think, uh, I think we'll have to worry about Justin Fields, I think 200 yards, 250, you know, real high completion percentage and just dinging and docking it until we can get pass protection the way we need it to be. And that's, uh, we got hit right when we threw it. I do like how you can still get the pass off now this year and the play, the, the ball is kind of just inaccurate, which changes the route of the receiver. I, I do like that. I think that's, I think that's a nice change uh that makes things a little bit more realistic we did force three fumbles last week maybe we can maybe that's something that can help us gain a little traction on the offense get a fumble here inside opponent territory nice little conservative catch for robert tunyon who does not get the first down okay we might have an opportunity 
This kind of looks like a passing setup. And I don't know what that was. That was a weird... With the offensive line, they all broke off to the left like it was a screen. First and 10, ball on the 48. Aaron Rodgers having no problem moving the ball against this Chicago Bears defense. Linville Joseph hurt again. He was a little hurt, I think, last week. Are we going to have to worry about him being banged up? That could definitely impact on whether we're going to re-sign him in the free agency. He's wanting a contract, but... If he's gonna stay hurt, I don't think that's that's worth doing. I look right there, wide open. We have we you can't let that happen. And that was that was a pretty pass, but there's nothing we can do about that. Zone coverage is not working for this team. We might have to play man, but I don't think we're fast enough. It's the problem. We'll try some cover one. Play some man. We'll play press. And Robert Tanya with a touchdown. Brisker can't get into the flat quick enough. And Green Bay's up 14 to nothing to end the first quarter. Did he just need that at the one? Okay, 99 yard drive coming. <laughs> oh my God. We got to get a first down here. We have got to move the ball. If we go three and out twice in a row when they move the ball so easily on our defense i'm praying that this drag route is is solid if not we're probably toast here let's just get it to him there we go first down in this scenario i know i said i'm always gonna use the gameplay game plan play but i mean third and seven we're not running it obviously so we're gonna pass it that'll be the only time that i don't choose that so commit might be open i'm not entirely sure there we go Nice. Cole Komet, I think, could be a good tight end for us this year. We're going to use him a lot in the end zone for sure once we get him in there. Now, we forced a pass to him on the first drive of the game last week, but that was my fault. Really trying to take time off the clock here. There we go. That's a good run. And our game plan was to run it in between the tackles. So that's what we're doing. And we're going to run it here with Justin Fields has all day and go out of bounds. One rush, 14 yards for Justin Fields. Nice pickup for the second year vet. Let's try the read option again. Heck, it worked once. Why wouldn't it work twice? Well, because probably because of Madden. Ah, I didn't know. I did increase the fatigue slider. If you're interested in the sliders at all, that's my specialty. You can join the Discord link or Discord, ser Discord server link is in the description. And I update those as I go. Right now I'm, in, I'm at version 0 0.2. So the official release has not been updated yet, but at least you get something that's better than the base game. So if you're interested in that, make sure you join the Discord. There's Pettis with a nice catch. Justin Fields gain us momentum. Both quarterbacks have not missed a pass yet. We've got a little 11 minutes left in the second quarter. And Justin Fields takes it again. Gets another first down and slides at the 11. Two rushes, 30 yards for Justin Fields. I really wish there was a way for us to, to check fatigue. And I, I, I really, I thought that was a cool thing that they gave us. Um, I really hate that they got rid of that. Now we can't get a first down without scoring a touchdown. And I probably would love to get that, get in there. How was that not a touchdown? David Montgomery chugging forward. Maybe we try the read option. Maybe this is the way to go. We'll see if this DN crashes down. If he crashes down, we're running it. No, he doesn't. Montgomery gets the touchdown. Chicago Bears, our first offensive touchdown of the season. I'm worried at the ease at which the Green Bay Packers have been able to move the field, move the ball down the field on us. But at least we know we can rush a little bit passing where's he gonna throw it there's sammy watkins breaks the tackle goes out of bounds picks up four let's bring some heat see if we can't get home man we have got to get a pass deflection or something randall cobb picks up a first down the good news is the packers are having a tough time running against us the bad news is well i'll say that and then this happens i knew it freaking knew it i'm playing underneath coverage we're shying for underneath routes because it seems like that's a, that's what he's doing a lot of I'm just hoping for a field goal so that we can maybe go down, score a touchdown and close the gap. 
Oh, look at that. Who was Johnson got beat by Peoples Jones? Yo, what is this? Look at this. What? Third and six is not what I wanted. And this is not a good play to run. Now, it looks like we're playing cover one. We might have Cole Komet here. Yeah, we do. Catch it, hold on to it, nice. I'm gonna try play actions, probably not the thing to do. Now, this might be cover three, which means Mooney could be open at some point. Oh, what happened to our receiver? Our icons, oh my God. It's because they got the pressure. Now, Aaron Rodgers, the X Factor, they've got all the momentum. This is gonna be tough to rec recover from, be honest with you. Intercepted, good. Well, there's one pass deflection. Now it's third and five. Do we sell out? I think we I think we got a blitz. I think we blitz. We get Brisker here, cover. Gordon, you're coming to the outside. Quinn, get there. Somebody get there. Get there. Make the tackle. Thank God. There we go. Nice. Get a block. Uh, we're not going. Let's just go out of bounds. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. He read it like a freaking book, man. It's like they know I'm throwing it there. All right, we're going to try this third down and three. I'm just, again, looking for a field goal here. 36 seconds. Oh, my God. Randall Cobb wide open. Really? Really? Oh, that was a nice run. I'm going to call a timeout. Uh, 15 seconds. We need points. How do you just let the, def the defender beat you to the ball every time? Well, at least we get the ball to start the half. Maybe we can make some stuff happen. I, I, we, I mean, we already thrown two. I've thrown eight interceptions this season already. Cole Komet with a nice catch. I'm going to try Darnell Mooney here. We're going to just see. Oh, my God. Played it perfect. This is my problem with wide receivers right now, man. Defense is great. Like, that's a cool defensive play, right? But why? Darnell Moody turns. You spot the ball. You come to the ball. You don't backpedal like you're going out of bounds. All right, Packers drive it down the, the field. I, I just cannot stop them for nothing. There's nothing that I can do. Let's see if we can't get Linville Jovis in here for a bull rush. But wide open tight end. We're going to have to clean the entire organization up after this season Russian has been good again passing not so much and I feel like that's this right here is the only thing I can throw all right let's try this again last time I saw Pettit I mean uh Darnell Mooney be open on like the sideline on the boundary we're gonna try to throw it there and he's not and I can't see anybody because of freaking momentum there's Darnell Mooney Making his presence known down by 31. Is that his first catch of the day? Yeah, for 12 yards, man. We got to get him some love. He won't ever progress if we don't start getting him some. There we go. There's another one. We'll take that. Oh, wide open and I threw an interception. He's wide open. There we go. It's finally something. Holy crap, that might be like our longest pass play of the season. All right, we're on the goal line. I would love to see, I'd love to see a, I'd love to see a Justin Fields touchdown, you know, so he's not 0 for 9, but I don't know where we're going to go with this route. Let's go right here. Get in there, Darnell, not Darnell Mooney, David Montgomery, his second touchdown of the day. This is demoralizing. You're down by 31 and the computer's like, you know what? We're laying it on you. We're going for it. And then you have something like that. This dude literally catches it with the backside of his hand. Like, like literally. He, he catches this ball. This is simulation football. And he catches it. Not to mention our second round defensive back doesn't even, doesn't even attempt to bat it down. Cause he don't see it. If they throw it out of this third and nine, letting clock run off, I will literally throw my computer. All 
right, we lost 45 to 14. That last play, I took that personal. Next time we see Aaron Rodgers, I, I, I'm, I'm blindsiding him. I took that personal. He threw 365 yards for five touchdowns. I'm putting out a bounty for Aaron Rodgers. All right, so our left guard, Cody Whitehair, did get to develop, so that's good. Good for him. Good for Cody. So we'll increase him. Of course, morale's down, so now he's really only at a... He's at an 81, really, but only he's at an 80. Crookshank, I think we'll keep you at a hybrid. I think that can help us. Run support would be very good, too, with the type of defense we have. I, yeah, let's go run support. I think hybrid probably would have been the way to go, but he's so close to, uh, you know, that level. We'll just go ahead and go with that. And Noah, you know, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're a 25 year old, 63 overall from the Citadel. You know, I, I guess run stopping, man, <laughs> I guess it, you're not going to help us out too much and good chance you won't be on the team next year. Let's talk to the, uh, the press. It's always been tough beating or tough beating a team led by Aaron Rodgers. but does this loss? Make it any easier to swallow. Well, let me tell you. We've got negative five reaction play. Oh my gosh. Play re recognition next game. That's going to be tough. But we are going up against the Texans. We have hope. These next two games, we could be two and two if we get our crap together. All right. That's a big if. And uh, I'm going to have to wait to see you in the next one. Peace out.